Good morning, Internet. What's up? Today, today's morning, we're going to talk about a little thing going around YouTube right now called DMT. Now, it's a uh, sort of a drug, but at the same time, it is not a drug. Uh, for example, uh, as I read up on it, it um, scientifically, uh, there's not been a lot of studies on it, but scientifically and technically, it has not shown to have any uh, effects that other drugs uh, usually uh, show. And therefore, I, it's kind of weird calling it a drug because technically it's not really a du- drug. Uh, if you want to have the technical uh, term, what you should call the DMT thing, It is a a neurotransmitter. It's uh, basically, DMT is basically a thing, uh, a substance that uh, animals and plants produce uh, as a neurotransmitter. Basically, a substance transmitter uh, that is, uh, I guess, between your... um, it is used between your uh, what are synapses in the brain, uh, the things that connect your brain together and your nervous system. And um, in a part of your body called something like the uh, pineal gland or something, uh, this drug, <laughs> well, this neurotransmitter is produced. And But since it's produced in, for example, plants that also have a... Um, Neuro, yeah, that that all that also have a ner- nervous system. Nerve system, it it is also produced there. So DMT, what the fuck it is it? But uh, what it is is basically a recreational drug, a illegal recreational drug, and um, it's one of those drugs that was first created by man and then realized that. It was not actually created by man, but it's actually a naturally recurring thing. If you would search for DMT, what you would find is a community, a spiritual community uh, on YouTube that uses it. The way I found it, and the way I, uh, the way I found it was through uh, this YouTube channel called Cult of Dusty. Now, I would say I'm pretty certain, pretty, pretty certain that because the uh, huge publicity that this DMT drug just got from Cult of Dusty, that it's gonna kind of have its own kind of explosion into the mainstream, more mainstream, not not the mainstream of YouTube or in the world, but a great push. Uh, I think other atheist channels that uh, look at Cult of Dusty will, you know, talk about it or watch it and see, uh, try it for themselves. I mean, as it looks now and from a perspective of a uh, scientific perspective, this is just, um, this is just a neurotransmitter. Uh, it shows to have no effect uh, as other drugs because, well, first of all, it goes away after between 10 to 5 minutes is the usual number thrown around on the internet. Uh, going to the studies that the, uh, for example, on Wikipedia, that they link to the Wikipedia site that covered the subject, uh, they, they say that uh, there has been no sign of addiction to the DMT drug. So if you want to find if you want to find DMT and you want to use DMT and uh, I can definitely say that uh, with certainty that by the scientific studies done today uh, up to date there is no sign that this is actually dangerous for you. But I will note here that there have not been a lot of studies done on these drugs. Uh, most things uh, done on this is uh, on where it occurs in nature, in nature, and uh, the uh, effect it has on people. And thirdly, uh, 
what part it plays in the brain when it comes to uh, function. So that's where the major majority of uh, where it lies in um, the research lies in. But there has been some research in how addictive it is and uh, you know stuff like that. Uh, I would uh, definitely recommend using this drug if uh, if you want to try it because it's from what it seems like now it seems not to be dangerous. I, I, w I will not like 100% go out of my way to say oh well it's not dangerous, it's not dangerous but uh, it's, as it seems now it seems to be substantially not dangerous and not addictive and um, there's been a lot of people, like a lot of, lot of people on the internet, especially by the community that seems to, uh, the DMT community that seems to be pushing for this drug is that it's first like, well, I mean, they, they're crazy. I mean, for, first of all, I'm going to point that out. Uh, they think it's one, maybe portal to another dimension. <laughs> Uh, or something that enables you to travel to other dimensions because people who use this drug say that it's sort of that kind of experience. Not literally, but you hallucinate that. Um, other people describe it as a great drug if uh, you want to cure dep depression. And they, I haven't found any study, I haven't done a lot of research, but I haven't found uh, right now any study linking it to be a great cure for depression. Uh, so if you are depressed, I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, I know for certain that if you uh, use this drug mixed with uh, antidepressants, that uh, are there to uh, create or lower your serotonin level that uh, it can have a have serious health consequences so if you're depressed you're using uh, other kinds of medication i would not use this drug unless you're gonna kick the other <laughs> depression drugs and use this and if you if you are that if you're, you're really gonna kick your antidepressants uh I just want to remind you that if you do it, uh, the, uh, the antidepressant drugs, they're not just going to leave your body for a couple, uh, it's, it's going to take at least like a week for antidepressant drugs to leave your body. Personally, uh, I have used antidepressant drugs, uh, well, not antidepressant drugs, but uh, concentration drugs for ADHD. And at the same time, they have had antidepressant effects built into them uh, on purpose. And those drugs, to uh, actually just get the normal effect, you had to take them for a couple of weeks to build up a uh, good amount in your system. So um, I would definitely say try this drug if you want to, DMT. And uh, if... Um, and it's illegal. First, first, <laughs> second, or like the last point I actually make here is it's illegal, but it's fun to watch people on YouTube here talking about it. Like, so you have this community on one side where people, people think it's a miracle drug. Like people think cannabis is a miracle drug. And on the other side, you have like recreational users like, the guy from Cult of Dusty who is just, yeah, I just want to get high. Uh, it feels great and it goes away after a short time. So I don't have to worry about it. Now, it's it's funny. I mean, you know, that's, uh, that's interesting that um, uh, because it seems to be one of those drugs that uh, you will be able to use recreationally uh, throughout your life. Because it doesn't seem to have any negative effects after it. And the reason why I think it doesn't have any negative effects is because I think the metabolism or the body has some sort of reaction to the drug. Whereas it kind of uh, shifts your body to uh, sort of 
you know, get a normal balance 